Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, two things. One, I keep getting messages from people who have contact blocks, so basically I can't respond back to these people who send me messages, and then I feel bad. So, if you have contact block enabled, I can't message you back. You have to take it off. You have to add me as contact first. Two, the most interesting question that I've gotten of recent was talking about Edward Snowden uh, with the NSA leak. And as I've said before, uh, I am totally for <laughs> leaks, disclosures, everything in government being open, uh, largely because a, I don't really believe in the legitimacy of government. But beyond that, even if you do, uh, the fact of the matter is, is that government takes money from everybody and then expects you to have informed consent when you vote. Well, how do you have informed consent and make good decisions um, if the very agency that's taking money from you and doing things with or without your permission uh, is clouding everything that they're doing if they're putting it all in secret? Uh, it's really hard to make an informed decision if they cover up everything. So I really actually don't believe in any secrecy whatsoever. And some people might say, well, oh, what about like military stuff and technology, this, that? I'm like, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I mean, if the if the information is totally open and out there, nothing's going to change. All the big weapons are there, all the different this and that. The only thing that will change, as we've been seeing, is that people are going to start realizing the government is nothing but a bunch of crony crook thugs who spy on people. And I really hope that people don't have a lot of psychological dissonance right now because it's pretty darn clear as has been consistent over the past couple of years especially, things coming out to light, uh, that the government is doing things to spy on people, is enforcing enforcing things that, that look like martial law, as you saw with the Boston, Boston bombings, you know, Fast and Furious, running gu guns <laughs> in Mexico and letting lots of people die. I mean, this is just the tip of the iceberg. And so, to me, it's just amazing that any of this is even getting out. But that any of this is getting out should be pause for anybody and be like, oh, you know, maybe I should really research what the United States government's done in the past. That's, that might be a good idea. Um, because it, it just gets worse and worse, so you don't have to go too far. Um, and especially having done law, uh, for me, one of the big things was the patent office, because that's pretty much where government takes everybody's technology and turns it into their own weapons and devices uh, for tyranny. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask, but Edward Snowden is definitely a hero for revealing that, and so is anybody else who reveals any information about government whatsoever. They have no right to privacy. They shouldn't have any right to privacy in anything that they do, because to have any privacy with government is to say that you enjoy being ignorant. That's pretty much it. You can't, you can't on one hand, say, oh, I you know, I want to be an informed you know, decision maker and voter and all this other stuff, and that everything's consensual with government, there's some weird social contract, and then say, oh yeah, but you know, uh, they can hide what they're doing with my money and everybody else's money, and they can, you know, pretend that they're not killing or murdering people across the world, they're spying on people, that's okay. No. Alright, take care everybody.